This video is brought to you by Squarespace. Ooh, well, ahoy there, cruisers. It is a stormy day at sea here on the Pacific on our first ever Trans-Pacific cruise. Oh my gosh, join us. We're gonna give you loads of tips about seasickness and how you can completely prevent it. Plus, have a really fun sea day here on board Norwegians, Norwegian spirit. Fasten those seat belts because it's gonna be a bumpy ride. Oh, let's head for some breakfast. We're walking down the aisles and it is a little bit bumpy. You do need to hold on. I can hear all of the ship creaking and things. Buffet's right at the top. Let's go grab some food, shall we? And some coffee to get us started for this day. You know you've got bumpy seas when you see these at the end of your corridor. These are sick bags. Just in case, you'll find them at the end of the stairs. Hopefully we don't need them later. Right, so we've got our breakfast at the buffet. I've got to say, since COVID, I'm not the biggest fan of buffets. We do try and avoid them when we can now. We don't go half as much as we used to. It is a little bit chaotic in there. It's a full ship, a really full ship on board, almost 2,000 passengers. And the Norwegian Spirit holds around 2,000 passengers. Lots of people wandering around, not knowing what they're doing cutting in line, standing there eating their breakfast while picking things out with their fingers. It's kind of put me off a little bit, I've got to say. There is a good selection in there, though, just your normal English breakfast items. You've got some desserts as well, as well as fruit, and there is an omelette station as well, which I would recommend going to, but the line for that was so huge, I was like, I just need some food. So I've just went for a little smorgasbord. Got some sausages corned beef hash which look really weird i think i prefer the corned beef hash on royal caribbean where it's kind of like all mashed together and a little croissant with some ham and cheese let's have a taste i think it's going to be cold because it took me so long to get this stuff because it was kind of like bumper cars in there let's have a try the corned beef hash is pretty nice it's still quite warm actually my favorite sausages let's have a little try they're really good sausages but most importantly whilst we're <laughs> rolling and weaving out here it is cold outside as well i've got to say i think this is going to be our last day that we sit outside on our way to alaska because if you didn't know we're doing a trans-pacific all the way from hawaii to alaska it's our first ever time and this is amazing but most importantly got my morning coffee my morning joe my morning brew cheers guys this is going to get me going for the day i doubt it because it's very weak oh that is weak oh my gosh it's like dishwater might have to have about 27 of those just to get going today. I think Norwegian are on rations with their coffee this time. Yeah, I think Norwegian definitely are on rations with coffee. Anyway, back to my sausage. Yeah, I'm surprised how busy it is considering how much the ship is rolling. I think these are all professional cruisers and they've all got their hardy sea legs because everyone's still piling their plates high. I just got, I got porridge. Porridge is boring, but it keeps me going for the day and I wanted something warm inside. But the most interesting thing is this pecan dessert. It looks very naughty. It's a pecan cinnamon roll. And then I doused it in some bananas and also fruit and some syrup as well. That is so, so sweet but it is really tasty. I said I was only gonna have one bite. I'm just gonna finish it. I'm just gonna finish it now, guys. So I just went back into the wolf pack for my breakfast dessert time breakfast and there really wasn't much left. Oh my gosh, guys, I think this is the last time we're gonna to come to the buffet. There's one hand washing station for the whole buffet, which is nuts. 2,000 people on the ship. Not one person has washed their hands. Me and David were the only people. Most importantly, after you touch the tongs, make sure you wash your hands again. God knows what are on those tongs. If you want a nice, healthy dose of coronavirus or norovirus, you're going to find it here in the buffet. There's lots of people on board coughing and spluttering. We've noticed that the whole cruise so far. Oh my gosh, it is the last time. There are so many good other places on Norwegian Cruise Line to eat. So I think it'll be the last time we're in the buffet. Anyway, breakfast dessert time. I went for something really weird and I don't even know what this is. It's a pink muffin. Pink. And it's a weird like shape as well. Let's go and have a try of what it is. It's gonna be some sort of berry, right? Let's have a try. That's as dry as the Sahara Desert. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna see bits of tumbleweed rolling through it in a minute. I don't know what taste that is. It just tastes like dough. It is very thick. It's got nothing in it. There wasn't much left. The wolves have ravaged the pack. I also got the yogurt. It was a little bit tight for options in there because the buffet is coming to an end in about 30 minutes. There was nothing left. It doesn't matter. I'll have something nice for lunch to make up for it. Cherry yogurt. Treat yourself. I just don't want to go back in there, guys. It's crazy. There's a lot of people. It is an older crowd on this cruise as well. Not that that's got anything to do with it, but it is a bit like bumper cars in there. It's crazy. Ooh, perky cherry. 
We are really moving about. I'm struggling to keep my balance, actually. That's our first top tip, is just to be really careful when you're wandering around the ship. Already on this cruise, unfortunately, one passenger has broken their leg. Really hope they're okay, but just please be careful. Bring some sensible shoes. I've taken my heels off and Ben's taken his platforms off and we've just popped our Crocs on. So trainers, Crocs are something sensible for moving around the ship and always hold on to the handrails because sometimes this ship, it just goes and everyone goes woo to one side. Oh, it's cold on the main deck. The pool's been closed as well, obviously due to this weather because it would be quite dangerous to be in here. It's all cold out here. You're not going to want to be in the pool anyway, but the hot tubs are open and we might be doing that later on because we're British. We like hot tubs, even in this weather. Oh, it's cold. Oh, 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 oh guys, oh, chili con carne on top of cheese. Ah! Oh, my God. Pretty sure I have frostbite. My gosh, is this what Alaska's like? <laughs> Let's get inside, guys. Oh, my gosh, that is chilly. That's nice in here, nice and warm. Oh, I'm loving this. <gasps> my hair's gone crazy balls. Another thing to hold on to as well is your food when you're carrying it around because I've just had a flying croissant hit me in the face. It was very pleasurable, I've got to say, but hey, a flying croissant, it could be worse. But yeah, hold on to your food because it does go everywhere. Let's head down and towards the centre of the ship to find a little calmer spot, somewhere less rolly and bumpy. Yeah, like we said, there's loads of other places you can have breakfast. The main dining room is usually open till about 9.30. But one of our favourite places is here in the local. So this is the pub and it's a 24 hour pub which serves food. So breakfast in the mornings then food all night, which is fantastic. So if you've had a few too many to drink or want something to eat very late on, the local's your place. It's really fantastic. We love it in there. The food is tasty. It's all very naughty food though. Oh, if you are feeling the movement a little bit too much, your best bet is going low down into the centre of the ship. Now, this is usually the ship's atrium. It is on this ship anyway. And this is where you're going to feel the least amount of movement, just because that's the centre of the gravity of the ship. So because we're going forward and backwards and we're rolling as well, the centre of the ship's always the best. So head there if you are feeling it. Now, when it comes to cabins, let's go have a look. As we walk to our cabin, I've got to say I am a little bit disappointed with the lack of entertainment here on Norwegian, especially on a crossing. There really isn't much at all going on at all. Lots of people just sat around doing nothing, looking a little bit bored, really. I think there's like five trivias on today, and that is just about it. They put loads of outdoor activities on, even though the weather is horrendous, so they can't be done. But yeah, not really much going on at all. So bring your favourite book, listen to some music, watch a movie. Just chill out, because you can really chill out on these cruises, and it is nice to have a break between Hawaii and Alaska, so it is a bit of a treat. But there really isn't much on at all, so we wish the crew staff would do more, because until about 5 p.m. there's absolutely nothing. It's a little bit boring, really, and you have paid big money to be on this cruise. There's some questionable sounds here on the ship. I do think it's down to the movement of the ship. It's quite funny. Are you ready to take your online presence to the next level? Squarespace is the ultimate platform for building stunning websites and growing your brand. With cutting edge technology, your website will be powered by Fluid Engine. This revolutionary system designed by Squarespace will allow you to unleash your creativity like never before. Choose from a wide range of eye-catching templates, no design skills, well, no problem. Squarespace's intuitive interface makes it easy to bring your vision to life, even if you're a beginner. It allowed us to customise every aspect of our website. We also love the custom merch feature. You can effortlessly sell your branded products online directly from your website. It's like having your own virtual store open 24 seven. And the best part for us, it has to be those powerful analytics to track our website's performance. Head to squarespace.com for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com forward slash Ben and David to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. <laughs> as soon as I start filming, the whole cabin starts going and creaking. I actually quite like the sound, but fun fact, this is actually our second cabin. I know it looks the same, but it's actually a different Different location. If you saw our previous video, we were in a cabin up on deck 11 and we were right under the under kitchen and every hour we had what sounded like a Boeing 747 taking off going right across our room. It was banging, it was clattering, it was just a really noisy cabin. So we spoke to guest services 
who um, offered us to move positions, which was great. They had a spare balcony cabin available, which is what we'd booked, and so we just switched cabins. So now we're down on deck nine, and we just have cabins all around us, which is fantastic. Obviously, you can hear the ship creaking at the moment because we are moving a lot, but when the ship isn't moving, it was really quiet. And like I said, this creaking doesn't bother me, but that banging from under under, I don't know what they were doing. I think it was Michael Flatley in the river dance up there practicing every night because it was loud. And this is one of the downsides of booking either a guaranteed cabin or receiving an upgrade. So a guaranteed cabin, you don't choose which cabin you would like. You just simply choose what type of cabin. So you book a balcony cabin and you could be assigned any balcony cabin on any place on the ship or if you get an upgrade so we actually were originally on an ocean view cabin and we did the Norwegian bid program and we won woohoo we won a balcony cabin however you don't get to choose where that is and we ended up in a very noisy place under the kitchens so if you do choose your cabin just have a look on the ship map and we say if you've got cabins either side of you above and below you you're pretty much okay look out for anywhere that's under Anything on the top deck, so kitchens, buffet, restaurants, pool deck, avoid them. Anything above any nightclubs, the theatre, anything like that. It's just the risk you take when you book a guaranteed cabin. Obviously, you're saving money or if you do the upgrade programme. Obviously, you're getting a better cabin, but it could be in a worse location. But yeah, the real benefit of a guaranteed cabin is the price because you do usually save a lot of money. So if you are a deep sleeper who doesn't really care about any kind of noise, anything like that, go and book it. But talking about cabins on a bumpy cruise, now this is one of the really important things, choosing the correct cabin. We really recommend if you are susceptible to motion sickness that you book a cabin mid-ship. That means in the middle of the ship. Just like we were talking about with the atrium, you want to be low down and in the middle because you are gonna have the least amount of movement. Now, if you do book a cabin high up towards the ends of the ship, so the front, which is the forward or the back which is the aft you're going to feel more movement because the ship is physically moving more so those areas are much worse so if you do want a nice cabin with the least amount of movement low down and in the center of the ship obviously like if you book the guaranteed cabin you're going to absolutely have no idea where you're going to be so if this is important to you we do really recommend paying that little bit of extra money and going ahead and picking your own cabin now if things do get really bad lying down really does help i also find that having a balcony cabin really helps me if i do get seasickness as well because i can look out at the horizon and see what's actually happening or even open the doors and get a little bit of fresh air I'll go out on the balcony it's so much better but lying down some people find lying down on the floor really helps them as well if it does get really bad now don't worry it very very rarely does get bad it's just on these crossings and things like that where you might see a bit of bad weather most cruises around the Caribbean the Mediterranean Alaska that sort of places it's usually very calm and very still so don't worry but yeah there's a lot of creaking in this cabin it sounds like an old shed or something but I do like that noise much more than the train noise that we had in the last cabin and talking about paying extra for your cabin ironically some of the most expensive cabins I'm talking about the suites are all at the extremes of the ship so if you are booking a suite be aware of that and you're gonna feel a lot of movement in there so while you are getting a lovely nice big suite you may have a lot of motion Oof, I've got to admit guys, I've had to sit down. It is a little bit bumpy. It's even getting to me. I might even have to pop some medication. Oh my gosh, it is really, really moving. I haven't felt movement like this in a long time. We're not in any kind of danger or anything like that. It's not dangerous or anything. It's all good. It's just like a plane in turbulence. But yeah, as soon as you sit down or lay down, you feel very sleepy, I've got to say. I think the rocking movement does make me feel very sleepy indeed. So I might go for a quick nap after my breakfast. <laughs> this is what sea days are for watching movies, notting ills on, just having a little nappage before lunch, sleeping between meals. It makes you so sleepy, this movement. But this is so nice. Just chilling out, having a relax. This is what cruising is all about, eh? So we've had a bit of a chill out in our cabin, watched a movie, then I did some work. I edited a video as well, which is great, but feeling very hungry now. So let's go get some food, shall we? Food in my tummy, in my belly, because I'm hungry and it's been at least 15 minutes since we've ate. So let's go do this.
let's go to the local. We talked about it earlier on. Just finished a quick lunch in the local, which is great. It's open 24 hours a day, like we said earlier on, and it's great for just nice pub style food. Basically just had the lovely little pretzel bites, which are nice and salty with a cheese dip, and then had a uh, cob salad. It was a bit basic. It is what it is. I think David had the Caesar salad, which he said was basic as well, and a mushroom soup. So it's just nice for a light bite to keep us going till tonight. Anyway, upstairs, let's head to the progressive trivia. Uh, so progressive trivia is every one of the CDs. So five different quizzes and it's super hard. So we'll see how we do tomorrow. We'll keep you updated. Anyway, we're gonna go down and see if we can go do an escape room type quizzy thing in the social downstairs. Let's head down without falling over. So yeah, we came down to the social where we're gonna play Bamboozled. It's like a little escape room kind of thing like we did on, like we did on Celebrity. So let's do this then. Yay, the team won. We came first and we got loads of little free bags. How cool is that guys? We did it very quickly in about 20 minutes. But yeah, well done team. Woohoo, we were the winners. That was so much fun. So we've came back to the atrium after that just because it is very, very bumpy towards the front of the ship. So do remember if you are feeling a little bit seasick to come to the middle of the ship and lower down. It's not too bad, but it is very bumpy for some people who don't cruise as much as we do. So my nosiness and thievery comes into use because there was a book left on the side. So of course I picked it up. And inside is a lovely little message. It says that um, somebody left this book, they've left a few copies of the book around on the ship in memory of their dad who wrote the book, who died in 2020. How oh. nice is that? So you can pick it up and read it and then pass it along. So we're gonna take it off and put it on another ship, maybe the one in Greece so it gets to travel the world. That'd be cool. That's really sweet. But anyway, we came to the center to play the archeological, archeological quiz. It sounds thrilling indeed, let's do this. We are on a roll today. First, the beach bags we won. Next, we won the quiz. We won a round of applause. We got 20 out of 20. How good is Check that? Check it out. Well, travelers over here. And it was one of the most interesting trivias we've actually done. It turned out being fantastic. Are you going to frame it? It's my yearbook photo. Oh my gosh, guys, not kidding you. You've got to hold on for dear life on this ship. It is moving lots. Do remember though, this is a smaller ship, so it will move a lot more than a bigger ship. Now, when it comes to seasickness, don't worry. There is relief in a number of different ways. First of all, I'm going to talk about the natural remedies because there are a few if you don't want to take any medication or anything like that. First things first, green food. So things like apples and ginger. You can get things like ginger chews and ginger candy from Amazon, for example which is really good and they sometimes have it on the ship as well if you do ask for it. I like getting a ginger ale as well. Just a, a normal ginger ale on ice really does help. If you sip that slowly that really helps as well. But David's going to talk about some of the medical things that you can do which are a little bit stronger and probably a little bit more effective. We're just going to go and have a look in the shop to see what remedies are available that you can buy on the cruise ship to help with seasickness. So let's have a look in. It's the liquor store, ironically. It's usually where you find all the essentials that you need, like your tablets and things like that. So we can get bonine on this ship. So if you do forget it, they do have it on the ship in the shop. And that is our favorite type of medication because yeah. it is non-drowsy, which makes it amazing. Yeah. So it's called Bornine. You can't get it in the UK or Europe for some reason, but they do always have it on cruise ships. Yeah, and you can also get the knockoff version, which is just look for Melisline Hydrochlorine. They do sell it in CVS and Walgreens. You can also get the bands as well. Um, these don't really work for me, but they work for some people. Steph uses them a lot, they work for her. And you can get this Motion Ease. Ooh, Motion Ease. Which is a kid-friendly, non-drowsy seasickness relief. Never seen that before, one drop behind each ear, apparently. But yeah, there is a few options in the shop if you want to purchase any of the, the good stuff, the drugs. Straight to the drugs. If you don't care about the natural remedies, that's your option there. Oh, back to the, oh yay, our dry cleaning's back. Yeah, dry cleaning bag has came back, which is great, because we had to do it because we were on a cruise for a long time. It's like a little Christmas gift. Shall I open it? Open it. Ooh, oh my gosh, they do such a good job at like folding it and everything. So this was a wash and fold. It didn't include any ironing services, but they usually do quite a good job of keeping it quite not creased, yeah, if that makes sense. Iron. And I did buy some of this as well. I brought some of this for me, so the wrinkle releaser. So I think if we keep them quite neat and straight, give them a bit of this and we should be okay. But, oh, nice clean clothing. Pretty beautifully presented in a little basket. It's like a hamper of your dreams. 
especially when you've run out of boxes and you've worn the same pair for three days. And it's not too bad, it was $29 because we're silver members uh, on the loyalty scheme here, it was $25. So it's not really too bad for a really full bag of clothes, especially on a long cruise like this. Our cruise has been 16 nights, so we definitely can't bring enough clothes for that length of time. Little trick though, if you just need to clean and wash your boxes or underwear, stuff like that, socks, do it in the sink and bring some detergent with you, then hang it on your balcony or in your bathroom because it does dry pretty quickly and it saves you a little bit of money because Norwegian ships don't have any type of laundry facility, self-serve laundry facility on board. But yay, for new clean clothes, it always feels great to have some choice again instead of wearing the same thing every day. <laughs> oh, David, I can hear that wind. It looks quite sunny over here though. It's got sunnier. As I mentioned earlier, our favorite type of medication is Bonine. That is a non-drowsy medication. And the most popular drowsy version is called Dramamine. They're the names that you usually see, but you can get these medications in own brand labels from Walmart, Boots in the UK, CVS, etc. What we recommend you do is test out a few different medications because not all of them work with everybody. Yeah, so it's pointless taking it when you already feel sick because it just won't work. The normal off-brand medications, the brand medications from CVS and other pharmacies around the world, they are much cheaper and exactly the same drug, so don't be ripped off by those high-priced ones. We're all ready for dinner and tonight is a special one. We're going to teppanyaki which is the really fun Japanese style hibachi table. So let's head down and do it. I'm really looking forward to it. It is an extra pay, remember? Not gonna lie, guys. I did have a little snooze this afternoon. I think it's something to do with the waves. The motion of the ocean puts me to sleep. Nothing better than the cruise nap, I say. Yeah, I know. We, had, we put a movie on that we'd seen before and snoozed along to it. Looking forward to teppanyaki. It's been a while since we've done it on Norwegian. I think the last time we did it on Norwegian was on the getaway. It Is that was. All right? Yeah, that was years ago. That was about oh. seven years ago. Do you remember how little the boys were, Oscar and Oliver? They were Hello. teeny tiny little babies. Um, yeah, so let's see what it's like. It's been a while. Let's see if it's the same old jokes, the same old shenanigans. It's also interesting to see it's so windy outside that they've completely closed the outdoor deck. So yeah. Yeah. they are closed now. I haven't seen that in a while. Oh, but we're here. We found it. Deck eight. The lovely teppanyaki. Let's do this. Oh my gosh, guys, look there, matchy matchy. See, we got the dress code. We got it. Well, let's go for dinner. <laughs> super excited. Teppanyaki is always a super fun experience. It's like a little dinner and a show all together. Plus, we absolutely love the food that they're doing here as well. Oh, so the first course has came and it's a lovely miso soup. Very fresh, very hot. I've got to admit, I am absolutely famished. I don't know why because I've had two meals today and lots of Oreo cookies, so I shouldn't be, but looking forward to the main meal. So the usual choices are a couple of fish options, so shrimp, calamari and scallops, <laughs> and then you can also choose steak and chicken. So the second of our starters is a salad. Really good, I like that. I like the sauce that comes with it. And talking about sauces, they brought the sauces out for our main course. So we've got a mustard sauce and an onion sauce as well. Oh, and the restaurant comes with two recommendations, so two different cocktails. There's like a fruity lychee cocktail with sake, and then there's a more fresh cucumber sake as well. They look nice and fresh. Cheers, guys. First of rice, so good. You can't beat garlic, butter, and egg fried rice. Oh. oh my gosh, guys, this is always so, so much fun. Fantastic, it's always a laugh doing this, and it's great to see your food cooked fresh in front of you, which is awesome. It's all very fresh and delicious. That rice is blooming yummy. We've got two dipping sauces, and we've got the vegetables now as well, so I'm gonna do some dipping and enjoy that. Oh, this is one of my favorite foods ever. It's just so simple and so nice. Yum. I got the chicken and shrimp and it was absolutely delicious. You can't beat the fact that it's cooked right in front of you, straight from the grill onto your plate, super hot and fresh. And the shrimps were huge as well, super tasty. I went for the chicken and steak option. Oh my gosh, it is so good. The chicken is super lovely and tender and that steak is just cooked in half beautifully. No more Mr. Rice Guy because we've got more rice because there was lots left and it's too delicious to leave. That was such a fun meal. We also got dessert as well. 
I got the green tea ice cream. It's a little bit of a bland flavor. But you can't beat some ice cream, can you? And I went for the alternative option, which was the tropical fruit plate. And wow, doesn't it look very spectacular indeed? It comes with a little mango dip as well. It's a coconut dip. Just dipped me pineapple in the coconut sauce. Let's see what it's like. Oof, Julia Roberts on Rodeo Drive. That is very, very tart indeed. Just like her in the movie. Wow, so an amazing meal in teppanyaki. It was so good. We had a really amazing chef as well. And he had a really fantastic voice as well. He was from the Philippines and he has a band back there and he dreams of opening his own restaurant with a live band. How nice is that? He was so lovely. Really good food, really good service, super happy. So we're gonna go see the show now. D and J have saved us some seats. We're a little bit late, so let's run. It's called Blazing Boots and it's one of the full production shows. Let's do this. Oh, it's bright. <laughs> It's so, it's so. <laughs> Look at how bad it is, guys. <laughs> I love it how the... <laughs> it's just a very true representation of how it feels to be on this ship. <laughs> no, no clickbait. Wow, the show was absolutely fantastic. So much fun. Really good performers and singers. All country songs, fan blooming tastic. But it's time to go to bed now because I'm tired. Thank you so much for watching. A big thank you to our patrons as well. You too can become a patron by clicking the link in the description section below. In return, we give you loads like a monthly Zoom call, early access to our videos and extra videos. That's it till next time. Happy cruising.